Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Veronica and today I will be showing you how to make these felt balls that you could put in all types of cute garland. I will be using the wet felting method. When I first started felting I didn't realize I needed so many tools but it's really easier with the right tools. I bought this wool roving off of Amazon and it's half full actually. I used half of it so it was actually a lot more in this but you can use any wool felt from a big box store but I just find that this one is way cheaper and way more quality. I also need something to felt on. Any hard styrofoam will do. Also a needle felting kit. This one is from Amazon. These finger protectors actually do not come with the kit. I just threw them in there while I'm working. It's just where I throw all my tools. Um, but these are very necessary. You're going to poke yourself so bad. So you need to get some finger protectors. This kit comes with a single felting pen with a single needle. Also comes with a pen that holds seven needles, which is really good for doing shapes and flat work. I find that it actually helps the process go faster as well. It also includes extra needles, which you will need because they do break. I mix a little hot water with cool water so it stays hot while I'm doing other things. I like to get busy doing other stuff so it'll cool down a little bit until I can get started. Hot water is important for shrinking the fibers of the felt so that you get a nice shape. How much felt you use really depends on how big you want your ball. I use around 7 to 8 inches. I'm going to roll up the felt really tight, folding the sides in just so it gets a nice core in the middle. Now we are going to dip it and then lather it with soap and you can use a bar soap and I would use sensitive just because you're going to be using it a lot on your hands and it's just more um, softer on your hands. Uh, I usually use gloves for this but you know I'm just always taking them off so I didn't use gloves this time but uh, just take the soap and lather the ball. Make sure that the ends are evenly spread out over the ball as it's wrapping it and the soap will make it stick more. After it's lathered well, just make sure the ends are folded over the ball really nicely and evenly. And then just start rolling it in your hand and keep the pressure on just trying to make that nice round shape. You're going to keep rolling it for a while and you could just roll it in your hands until you feel it's an adequate amount of firmness. So now if you are satisfied with the firmness and the shape of your ball, there is no need for felting. However, I want it to be a little bit more compact and a little bit more even. So I'm going to start felting with my needle. So I'm going to take my single needle and just start poking it in on the top and just kind of pinch it with my fingers and make it firm So and then poke it as I'm doing that so that it gets more firm into the core.
I find that using the seven needle pen actually helps the process go a little bit faster and it also makes the ball a little bit more compact. So now I'm going to rinse the ball and you want to rinse it really well to get all the soap out otherwise it can get mold and you definitely don't want that and also make sure to um, squeeze it out very well too. You can use a strainer for the balls and place them outside or over a vent to dry. I dyed some of the balls this gray color, so I will be doing a white and gray garland today. I use a cotton thread and a long needle to thread this through. This is the easiest part of the process. If you like this video, please subscribe so that you don't miss upcoming DIYs and decorating ideas. I will be uploading a video soon on how to make simple shapes and other figures that you can put on the garland. I hope that you enjoyed this project. I will see you next time and as always, thank you for watching.